Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Jester Mufri. In this video, I want to teach you the simple forex strategy in three easy steps. But this is the easiest strategy that you can use, guys. So if you don't know uh, how to approach the market, maybe you're a beginner, you have been watching videos about forex and all that, and you're wondering how do people make money, this is the video for you. Also, if you have been trading for so long and you have never seen profits in your phone, Watch this video to the end and we learn something. So we will be using three easy steps. Before I begin the video, this is my number. If you're interested in my course, my course is $1,000. If you want, one strategy is $100. So before you go out there and get impersonators, there are many people who are impersonating to be me. They say, I trade on behalf, I do not trade. So those people in Telegram, TikTok, on YouTube, just be careful if you want anything of any of my services, use this number, okay? So let's go to the video. So the easy, the three easy step. Number one, uh, you will choose the time frame that you will use. More so if you use four hour, if you use four hour time frame is the best for beginners because we don't have so much data. So you will go to your four hour time frame. You know, I know majority of people want scalping strategies, but Imagine on 15 minutes, you have to be there after every 15 minutes. At least four hour time frame means if I enter the market, I can come back after four hours to check what is happening. So the first step is you go to four hour time frame. The second step, I want you to identify, identify a double bottom or a double top, whichever pattern you'll find, a double top or bottom that is OPT. Bottom. That is OPT. So for our time frame, that is the first thing. Number two, identify a double top bottom that is OPT. And then number three, you will be using CRB strategy. CRB strategy simply means you wait for current resistance to break, current resistance to break. So you see, you have to know how current resistance forms. That one I'll show you in a few. So those are the three things uh, you will need, current resistance to break. So you'll need four hour time frame. that is number one. And then number two, number two, you will need uh, to identify a double top or a bottom, that is OPT. And number three, you will need to use this strategy. I know majority of you don't know uh, how a double top looks like. If, you, if, if you're new here and it's your first time that you're watching the videos, a double top is something looking like this, a market going up, then creating that. That is what we call a double top. So you are looking for first attempt and second attempt. So you'll be very careful to identify this pattern first attempt and you will also look at second attempt. You see, you'll have those two patterns, first attempt, second attempt. Then we have a downtrend where we can have a double bottom. Can you see? So that's how to, the two patterns looks like. We have pattern one and we have pattern two. And also this is first attempt, second attempt. So once you identify these two patterns in your four hour time frame, you will identify if there is OPT using daily. So how to identify if a double top or bottom is OPT, you go to the higher time frame. So if you really want to know the OPT strategy, I think I can do the tomorrow's video can be OPT. Uh, like I dedicate one video on OPT and then CRB strategy is where the market will, buyers will start coming up. So those are buyers, buyers. So these are green, green. So you will be waiting for current resistance to be broken. So let's try with this. So you have four, three steps, imagine only three steps. 
and you can make a lot of money with these three steps, okay? Um, so when you open this chart, you can be lucky to find a pattern. Why is this market ranging here? You know, that is the first question. Why is this market ranging here? When I look on my left, I can see a support zone. So this market is uh, ranging at a support zone. And remember what we have said, that a double bottom is when we have two bottoms, first attempt and second attempt. You can see that. So that is our double bottom. So I have done videos on how to identify double bottoms. So that on top there is our neckline and that is our half. So you will have everything uh, like that. So you will mark these are possible double bottom because you're not even sure if the entry or it will react at that area. And then now we have our neckline here. This is our neckline. And then we will have our half gain. This is our half. You see now, imagine you're a beginner and you can be able to analyze like this. Once you have our half, now this is where we are looking for the second step. Before we go to the, remember our first step was the four hour time frame. This is four hour. Don't go to these double tops of 15, 30 because you have not really a practice on it. It has a lot of data. It can mislead you because you're a beginner, but four hour, it is very hard to mislead you. So we want to check, is this double bottom OPT? That is our second thing. If I go on the daily time frame, I will look at my left and I cannot see a support area. You have to understand support is created when a red candle, this is how support is created. When a red candle is followed by a green candle. So if I have something like that, I will say I have a support zone. Okay. So I will say I have a support. If I have red, green, I have a support. And here is what we are seeing very clearly. The second attempt, we have a red candle and a green candle making a support. But on my left, I do not have any red candle. It's green, 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 green. I don't have a support. When you have a double bottom on a higher time frame that is not available, but on four hour, you can see it. So the thing that make us not see is by flipping to four hour, that's what we say double bottom OPT. So that is a double bottom OPT, okay? So if this is a double bottom OPT, if this is a double bottom OPT, now you can go to your third step. So step one, I will repeat. You know, you people, I have to repeat. Step one should be a four hour time frame. And then step two should be OPT. Then step three should be CRB. That is step three. Okay, so CRB. So we have like that. So CRB is your current resistance. So you can hear how is resistance created? Resistance is created when a green candle is followed by a red candle. So that's how resistance is created. Anytime you have a green followed by red, I have a resistance, okay? So when you talk of current resistance, the, my current market is here. So my current resistance is this green followed by a red candle, okay? So I'll be waiting for the market to, to break. That's what I'll be waiting. So I wait. Now here it's to have patience. Remember one candle represent four hours. So we are waiting for the market to break. So let's say that is our resistance that we are hoping it will be broken. And then don't be in a rush. And how is this double bottom violated? The double bottom can be violated and come and activate the one that is below here. So if they violate with a red candle, let's say the market breaks like that, it means it wants to go to the next zone. So that one, again, you have to be cautious so that you don't uh, obsessed on this double bottom and it has broken. So let's see, will our double bottom violate or give us an entry? So you can see when we, we are waiting for the 
resistance to be broken, we have been created a new resistance because this strategy talks of current resistance. So current resistance is green followed by red we have. So we have, ref we have moved away from the first one, we have come to the second one. So here you can enter this trade very comfortable and stop loss you can use the lower because they can tap this area. But for me, I don't use stop loss, I use ATR. So I don't teach people on stop loss. So you can imagine by these three steps, you can make your first $100. That is 122, 20, 20 pips. This is how you can make your first $100, even if you're a beginner. Imagine it's that easy, guys. It's that easy. How can you tell me that I will enter this trade and make 121 pips? So if I make this trade, so let's see what happened. Did the market continue to go up? So let's see what happened. So you can see they still went back. <clears throat> and that's what I'm saying. You have to be very careful with your call what with your stop loss because they like coming back to make you think that you have it's called what you have done wrong and analysis so this trade they went back after entry this trade they did go back with 46 pips so that is the drawdown you'd have been taken but if you had patience and you knew this trade, it is OPT, it has CRB, why is it not functioning? It could have given you 121 pips. So let's count 121 pips. If I have 121 pips and I'm using 0 0.01, I will make how much? I'll make $12. If I use 0 0.1, I will make one, $121. If I use lot of one, I will make, I'll make $1,200. If I use lot of 10, I'll make $12,000, guys. Imagine, hey, that is a lot. Oh, I will use one. That is supposed to be one twenty one like that. Now, you see, it all depends. First, you master, you have to master your strategy. And then now, once you are good with it, you can say, one day I will put the lot that I want. So if you want to make your first $100, it's very easy with this strategy, with the CRB strategy. Once half is broken, we always say that you can continue entering this trade. You can continue buying long position because half broke, you still enter again. And in this case, let's say you didn't get much. Here you're being promised another, oh my goodness, 169 pips. So here you'll be making 169 pips if that trade goes your direction. And let's see what happens with that trade. Did it hit the take profit? It hit the take profit. You can see the market continued with 169 pips. And if at all you want to continue with the distance, the distance you have to measure, you have to measure half the distance is what is guaranteed. So if at all you still looked on these trades and said, I will, if they break neckline, I will enter another buy up to the half distance and then I'm done. You can see um, long position where the half broke. If you entered again, if you entered again, so this is how many pips? These are 160 pips. Well, that's quite a lot. So you can imagine 160 pips, 169, 121, and the market hit the take profit. Now, the question is, how do we arrive here? If you want to arrive to this place, because take profit three is guaranteed, 
four is not guaranteed. There's so much, there's so many things that can make four not to be guaranteed. If you really want to make that $100, as first in your trading uh, journey, why don't you master this trade, this strategy? Why don't you master this strategy? And you can see how easy, easy it is. Anyway, guys, all the best. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment down below. Let me know what do you think about this strategy. Have you ever tried it? And see you in the next one. Bye.